Hey guys, Buffalo here. Today we're going to do a test on three different home defense shotgun loads. And what we're going to be looking at today is over penetration. Okay guys, I've got three of these walls made up, complete with half inch drywall and two by four studs. Uh, I've got some volunteers. Got six watermelons. Have to be a real melon head to volunteer for a job like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to test three different shotgun loads. We're going to test birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. And we're going to have a watermelon in front of the wall and a watermelon behind the wall for each of the shots. What we're testing for is over penetration. We want to destroy the watermelon that's playing the assailant here, but we don't want to destroy the watermelon on the other side of the wall. Now once again, these are the three loads we'll be using. First shot we're going to take is going to be with a one ounce slug, which it looks like that right there. Then our second shot, we're going to be using double lot buckshot, which is another real common home defense load. It has nine of these size pellets right here. They're about 32 caliber. Last up, we're going to use bird shot. It's got an ounce and an eighth of these number eight shot in it. All right, guys, here's how this test is going to work. I've got this watermelon here playing the assailant. We're going to take a shot at him, and he's going to be standing in front of the wall here. And behind the wall, is the innocent watermelon. Now the reason I'm doing this test is to help some people out that don't really know about over penetration and what it can do and whether you've got close neighbors or other people in your own home this is something that you should take into consideration when deciding on a shotgun load for home defense. Alright guys we're gonna start out with the slug and we're gonna do all these shots from 15 feet after taking some measurements and, and looking around in my house uh, 15 feet is gonna be typical of what you would be trying to defend yourself inside your home. So that's what we decided on. All right guys, as you can see, the slug has more than done enough damage to put down the assailant. Just a little chunks left. I see a piece of the fiber wad from behind the slug laying here and our entry hole is right next actually it scrapes the uh, stud here in the middle of the wall and leaves a pretty big entry hole so let's check out the back side all right now we've took out our assailant but unfortunately we've took out an innocent on the back side of the wall you can see that that is a uh, that is more than likely a fatal wound to this melon <laughs> uh, I do see the slug. There's what's left of the shotgun slug. After going through the wall and ripping out part of the stud and into the back watermelon. Alright, let's move on to buckshot. Alright guys. Once again, the assailant side of the wall, the assailant, more than enough damage for the cell to go down. This time you have multiple entry holes where all nine of those shot and probably the wadding too has went through the drywall. The stud runs right through here. Some of the uh, shot is hit directly onto the stud. So let's move around back and see what happened on the back side. Right. At first glance, when you come around to the back side, uh, the watermelon in the back looks fine. But upon closer examination, you can see multiple, multiple entry points. I think all nine, one, two, three, four, seven, eight. I see eight entry points on this melon. And two exit and one just about to exit. You can see a, uh, a buckshot hung up right there. And there's several shot laying here. Of course, they're flattened now, but they made it all the way through. So again, attacker is down, but so is an innocent in the back room here. So we got one more test to go, and we'll see if bird shot turns out any different. Okay guys, up here 
taking a look at the front side. This melon didn't totally obliterate like the other two. But that being said, he has suffered enough damage that I don't think he's going to be bothering anybody. I see that the main pattern of shot is entered right in here with the stud running right down the middle. And the wad is laying here. There's the wad that carried the shot. So let's go to the back side and see what happens. Okay, guys. Taking a look at the back side here. None of the shot made it through. There is no exit holes. So your child in the next room would have been safe had you had to take down an assailant with birdshot. He looks good enough, we might just eat him. All right, guys. Now this obviously wasn't a scientific test. Your attackers are not gonna be made out of watermelon. They're gonna be made out of flesh and bone. And your walls will probably be made out of a different material, at least a different lot number, if nothing else, than the material I used. This was just a demonstration of the difference between birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. Um, if y'all like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing some more videos of this type. Thank y'all for watching.